Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, hey, it doesn't work without you guys. So ends another day. Hump Day is in the books. It's all downhill from here. Um, we've got Senior Bowl practice going on. <laughs> we talking about practice. And, of course, Saturday at 2 o'clock, we have the Senior Bowl. Uh, John will be here. We'll be watching that, of course, trying to get a take on some of these prospects. And understand that this is really the only opportunity you're going to really see these guys. There's no combine this year. No combine. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Interesting day. You know, I'm a YouTuber. I'm here on the YouTube. Before I was a YouTuber, I was a Facebooker. Now, Facebook people and YouTube people are two different types of people. But that's where I started. I started with Joe Boo on Facebook. I had a YouTube channel, but nobody watched. The thing that's kind of interesting about the YouTube is they'll do like YouTube memories flashbacks they'll go back seven years or six years or last year and give you a memory which is good when you're old and have dementia because you forget about a lot of things you do but what it really is is it's a way of doubling up in case you don't post that often all of a sudden you see your memory oh i remember that let me repost it it's kind of like doubling down you know kind of kind of double dipping on the money they're double dipping on the money that's what they're doing they're getting you to post old shit over I ain't mad at him. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. So, a memory that came up today on Facebook was from one year ago. One year ago, I was in Miami because we were there before the Super Bowl because United Way had a booth at NFL X. And we were working it. And we were there from 8 o'clock in the morning to like 10 o'clock at night. And I wasn't working all the time, so you had time. And so, me and Michelle, who's from Australia, and, um, damn, Baltimore Raven fan. I can't remember his name. God. We walked, went to the Super Bowl together. But anyway, we went hiking, and we walked from the convention center. And those of you who know the convention center and stuff will know what I'm talking about. But we hiked from the convention center basically to this causeway that goes back over into the main part of Miami. And this is where the, I mean, it, it's a big cause. It's a big causeway that goes over because all the ships go underneath. It's a bridge. Okay. I don't know why they call them causeway. It's a goddamn bridge, but it's a big ass bridge that the big boats go through. Okay. If you keep on going down this inlet of water, you'll see all the cruise ships. So you're walking from the convention center, you see all the big cruise ships while you're going through here on the causeway, and that's where Jerry Jones's yacht was parked. And basically, it was parked, so all you saw was the ass of the boat. And I wanted to get a good picture of it, so we had to literally hike up the top of the causeway so I could snap a picture. And I'm a long ways away. So people looked at it and said, it's not that big. It's like, yes, it is. Because you see the two staircases that literally go down the back of it like this. And it's like, it's huge. It's freaking huge. And so that was the memory that we had today. And I, I think it'll, it'll be a lot of great memories because I was in Miami for two weeks before the pandemic hit. So I can't wait to see what Facebook's going to get me to repost tomorrow. But anyway, today was one of those crazy days. Jason Witten retires for the second time. Okay. He retired from the Raiders, but he's going to sign a one day contract with the Dallas Cowboys and retires the Dallas Cowboy. All right. That, that, that's the way it should be. 17 year career, should be a Hall of Famer, and at least he's going out as the Dallas Cowboys. I got up this morning, saw Mike Fisher posted that Dak Prescott signs long-term deal with Budweiser. And so did that, talked about that. People, you click baiting. You're uh, okay. All right. Okay. I got you. I got you. Then we found out about um, uh, Wheeler from Seattle, who has now been charged in the domestic violence and everything else and so forth and the seattle seahawks made a statement and basically said he was a free agent we weren't going to resign him so we're investigating him but we don't we don't know that guy we don't know that guy okay we got nothing to do with them okay so there's that and then and 
and then, and then there's word that the Texans, East Side, where you hide, man? East Side, I want to get your take on this. That the Texans, the last team that got rid of their coach, the last team that hasn't hired one, there's word that they are signing a deal right now. Right now, they finally have settled on the coach, and it's not Eric Bayani. Eric Bayani, who, of course, is the offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs, that are going back to the second Super Bowl. That literally took Pat Mahomes, who was not the number one quarterback in there, and made him God. Okay, we have the goat and Tom Brady. We just call let's just call Pat Mahomes God because that's what he is on the football field. He's just making miracles happen. Okay, they fall behind by 10, 14 points. No big deal. Huh. You want me to see? My, I'll, I'll throw a pass behind my back here. Hey, I'll throw it with my left hand. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and bounce it on my forehead on the top of my helmet and I'm gonna flick it to a guy. Yeah, I, 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 he's God. Pat Mahomes is God. So after the Texans say we want to interview Eric Bianami for a second go ahead, we want to talk to Jim Codwell, who was 62 and 50, who had a 14 and 2 season after Peyton Manning went down, who had three winning seasons with the Detroit Lions out of four, which was three of the four that the Lions have had over the last 20 years. Uh uh-uh. no, we don't want that guy. They talked about Jay McNown, their third string quarterback. Let's interview that guy for head coach. We'll just surround him with former coaches to support him. They finally found their man, Texans. Eastside. You know who they got? They went to Baltimore. They went to Baltimore. And they signed David Cutley. Wait for it. Let me say it again. David Cutley. And you're saying, who? David Cutley. He's worked miracles with that offense. David Cutley, wait for it, is the Ravens' passing game coordinator. Seriously. Seriously, the Baltimore Ravens, who, <laughs> who averaged 171 points, excuse me, 171 yards passing a game, the least in the NFL. I'm talking about the Jets passing the ball more than the Ravens. I'm talking Jacksonville gets more yards passing the football. The New York Giants, (laughs) they even pass the ball more than the Baltimore Ravens. I'm not saying that, you know, (laughs) Lamar Jackson is the MVP. It ain't for throwing the football, I can tell you that. So if you're Deshaun Watson, you can pretty much say, I'm out of here. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to be putting my neck out there like Lamar Jackson. This is a joke, right? Seriously. You guys got rid of the best wide receiver in football for a broke down running back, and now you got the passing game coordinator from the team that passes the least in the NFL to be your head coach. Seriously? I think that this this definitely says Deshaun Watson, he's probably got his house on the market right now. He's going to start living out of his suitcase. I don't care where I go, but I'm getting the hell up out of here. Are you kidding me? At this point, I'm I'm sorry. At this point, now the only thing I can say, I don't know anything about him. I'm going to be honest. I don't know anything about him. But I'm assuming that he is a minority candidate. He's a brother. And because he is, the Ravens are going to get a third-round draft pick. Now, here's the other interesting part. Apparently, the Ravens are still keeping their play callers. The guys who call the plays for the Baltimore Ravens are staying. The passing game coordinator didn't call the plays. He's going to become the head coach of the Texans. Interesting. 
Eastside, I would love to know your thoughts on this. Would love to. So, that's where we are. Looks like all the teams have finished doing the coaching shuffle, and now we're just waiting for the quarterback shuffle to happen. And if you haven't been keeping count, Carson Wentz may or may not be staying with the Eagles. Josh Allen, excuse me, Sam Darnold may or may not be staying with the Jets. Phillip Rivers is retired. Drew Brees is retiring. The Saints say they're intrigued by Jameis Winston. Garoppolo has fallen out of favor with the 49ers. We have Jared Goff, who's going to be competing for his job. Jacoby Brissett may or may not be going to New England. We have Matthew Stafford, who is in trading negotiations right now to be going to another team. Deshaun Watson will definitely be going someplace. The Texans want to have three number ones. And Dak Prescott still doesn't have a contract. And Tua may get traded for Watson. And that's where we are. Oh, and there's Aaron Rodgers, who wants a new contract and may or may not be staying with the Packers. So hold on to your hats. It's going to get crazy up in here this offseason. And with that being said, I appreciate you guys being here. As always, keep it up with the sports that is the NFL. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you in the morning. Peace. I see my blue light. See my blue light? Blue light. Blue. Or oh, is it blue? Is it blue? Is it blue? Ooh, it's moving. It's the blue light. Oh, no. See you guys. Ha, 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 ha